Hey, hey, System Coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports, and welcome back to the Liverpool career mode. And this is going to be an epic episode. Talking about the epic episodes, boys. This is episode 16. That is 16 in Swedish. Thank you very much for that comment. Leave your comments down below for episode 17 in your language. So the last episode I was talking about the fact that Liverpool was about to play against Manchester City and uh, here are a couple of funny comments that you guys have put into the comments of the last video. Uh, Shaikh Safvan says, Mahrez's penalty just landed on my backyard. Then there was another one. Liverpool nil nil, Manchester City. Um, Mahrez penalty landed on the moon. One step for man, one giant step for ball kind. You guys were coming up with the jokes. There's another one. Reports are that Marez's penalty hit McGregor's face after a punch by Khabib. Like, seriously, you guys are taking the piss out of the penalty that Marez took. But I gotta be real, it was a bad one. But let's go back to what we care about, the career mode right here, boys. Thank you so much for the insane support. On the last episode, we had over 3,300 likes. And if you guys could hit or click or touch that like button right now, for this video, that would be much appreciated. Let's see if we can get it to over 3,000 once again, because this is the episode where first plays against second. This is the episode where one of the most important fan objectives is on the line, which is the one, the rivalry roars. And we can take a closer look into the objectives right now if you guys want to. We can do that together. Um, the objectives, obviously, in terms of the Premier League goal scoring, Mohamed Salah has been quite good, but we need 12 more goals. We need to get 12 more goals with Mohamed Salah. He is en route of doing it, but hopefully he can keep continuing uh, with the performances that he has had in these past episodes. Then in the Magical 3, we currently have 94 scorer points. 150 is the target. Hopefully we can get there. And uh, then the rivalry wars, as you guys know, that's a big one. And in this episode, it's going to be very important that we don't lose against Manchester United. Otherwise, I have to buy San Jose and play him in at least 10 games in the upcoming season, which we definitely do not want to do. So moving on from that one, we obviously have Daniel Sturridge, who had the best episode ever. Last episode, he scored three goals, three very big goals for Liverpool and he has now gone up to six goals out of ten. We need four more goals with Daniel Sturridge. Hopefully we can make it happen. We were stuck at three for a very long time and then in the last episode things have changed and now let's jump straight into the game against Manchester United. First against second, Liverpool against Manchester. Red versus red. Let's see how this one works out. All right. Manchester United, Old Trafford. Pereira might actually be in the starting lineup for them as it looks. And it is quite early in the day. So we are not playing under the floodlights, which kind of sucks. I wish I could change the time of the day where we play. But this is the game of this episode. United against Liverpool. I am very, very excited about this game. I've been looking forward to this one for quite some time. Van Dijk is uh, helping the team join onto the pitch right there as the first man touching across that line with his feet and uh, Spurs currently on 49 points Leicester on 47 who have had a great season so far actually challenging for top four right there which is a big surprise but obviously United against Liverpool right here they have conceded the least amount of goals and we have scored the most in this season and it definitely comes down to their goalkeeper right here De Gea can we get past him let's see it one issue that we had in the last episode was that we always started off into matches by conceding and that was one thing that I really wanted to change this time around because last episode we conceded six goals in two matches and most of them were coming in early into the game and Bardi is actually in the starting lineup right here. Keita, it is a good shot! Navi Keita in the fifth minute! I did not expect that to go in because the way his body was positioned there was no way it should have gone in. Daniel Sturridge celebrating it with Nabi Keita right there. And I was actually quite wondering why Bardi is, is in the starting lineup still. But then I remembered Wijnaldum is still injured and Nabi Keita. My man, what a way to start off into the match against United. We do not concede first. We score first. Pogba, I cannot get him off the ball right there. Firmino though helps out the defense, which is a beautiful thing to do. 
Pogba, down the wings they go with Alexis Sanchez. Alexis Sanchez, obviously a hero in that last Manchester United game. Oh no, I bottled it there with that pass and it's the same thing that we keep on doing. We need to learn how to play the ball out of our own half. And here's now a corner kick coming in towards, I believe that was Eric Bailly. Lukaku gets it. They play it back again. United still on the ball. Lukaku running down the wings and sadly, Mo Salah's tackle doesn't come across nicely enough. Oh, that's a beautiful pass and how am I conceding that, Alisson? Come on. Like, Alisson, man. You know how much I need this victory right here. I, I cannot be having United one goal away from winning this game. Alisson, the ball goes straight below him right here. Let's take another look at it. I don't... I think he should have saved that. He should have 100% saved it, man. 1-1. One, one, United back into it after only a couple of minutes already. There we go. Mane. Firmino. Fabinho. Fabinho. Plays it over to Bardi. Bardi, first time. Bardi on the volley! Yes! What a goal! It is Bardi. 2-1. The response is coming in straight away. I believe the first shot would have been good. It gets blocked and then he pulls off an even better one. And we were talking about him in these past episodes. We were all saying he's not good enough. Put Wijnaldum back into the team when he spits. And then he does this. I mean, the way he takes shots on this game, is it's just ridiculous. I love how good he is at finishing from outside the box. But then when it comes over to defending or holding on to the ball with strength, he has just not the qualities that a Wijnaldum has. And if I could have like a hybrid of Wijnaldum and Bardi, that would be the dream. But so far, as you can see again, Bardi is good at moving forward but not the best at defending and right now maybe moving forward is the thing that we are looking for 2-1 against united let's go boys what a game this has already started off to be after just 20 minutes oh yes but the good dribbling there Firmino over to mo salah mo salah mo salah still going down the wing plays it over there goes the cross from Barty and Firmino! 24 minutes have passed at Old Trafford and Liverpool have scored three goals. Bobby Firmino! Oh boys, what a game. What a game. Mo Salah doing an amazing job down the wings right there. Plays it over to Bardi, I believe. And Bardi gets himself an assist. Firmino left by himself right there in the penalty area against United. The rivalry wars is looking good. I would have to concede three goals in order to lose this. And I really hope that doesn't happen. I really do. We can't really pull it off. Dalo playing it over to Mata. They have a couple of players in the middle just waiting for that cross. And we can't allow it to happen. That is exactly what I'm talking about. <sighs> Honestly, I'm so sick and tired of conceding crosses, but I think, I think this time I only have myself to blame. I need to show you why. Because as they were playing down the wings, I selected Nathaniel Klein. And I, instead of looking at Nathaniel Klein to see what's actually happening, let's switch over to Sanchez here, who has Nathaniel Klein right next to him. I switched to Nathaniel Klein right here already. So I'm pressing RB to jockey Juan Mata there. But I'm looking at Juan Mata instead of looking where I'm at with Nathaniel Klein. So I'm moving away and giving the space to Alexis Sanchez to jump onto that header and score it. That's my fault. That one definitely is my fault. Salah. Good pass. Keita. Firmino. Keita. Salah. Come on, shoot. Yes! Mo Salah. Yes, boys. 4-2 United were thinking they might have come back into the game. But they haven't. Six goals in 45 minutes. What a game. And obviously, it's very important to see Salah scoring. That is his 21st goal in the Premier League season. Wish he had this type of performance right now in real life for Liverpool as well. But Luke Shaw defended that one terribly because he had enough time to get to it while Salah was turning and twisting. But after all, we get lucky and put it through the legs of uh, Luke Shaw. 21st goal. What a man. What a match. 4-2. Bardi goes through. Plays it. 
And Isbardi could be on two assists and a goal if Keita didn't bottle that. They will somehow put a cross in. Trust me. Look at this. Wow. Yep, they will definitely put a cross in. Nathaniel Klein, Alisson, what a save. I swear, from throw-ins, it's a guaranteed cross every time. I don't know why, if that's like in the code of the game. But every time, my opponent get a throw-in. Bobby! Oh, oh my god! What a goal from Bobby Firmino! Unbelievable! So many of you guys were saying... Bobby doesn't score enough goals. There you go. You have at least two in this game. 72 minutes have passed. And we have probably scored one of the most beautiful goals. And Enis Bardi gets himself yet another assist. But honestly, that is unbelievable. Look at that lob with the outside of the foot from Bobby Firmino over De Gea into the top right. What a legend this man is. And any Spardi, one goal to assist. I'm very impressed. Nathaniel gets it inside. Pog oh my god. That is a Pog boom, so to say. What a volley from Pogba. And he even celebrates it. I'm going to look at this replay because that was absolutely amazing. Whoa. There was so much power and accuracy behind that. That is ridiculous. Look at that. Wow. I mean, impressive, but you're still going to lose. 5-3. Liverpool are about to win this game against Manchester United at Old Trafford. Even though they only conceded 19 goals in over 20 games. Now in just one game at home. They have conceded five, and that is the beauty of this career mode. One game, we might just lose against the most ridiculous team. The other game, we might just concede three goals early on into the game and then somehow make an epic comeback happen. Or we could just go ahead and smash United at their home ground with five goals. This is what I love about this career mode. It's been very, very unpredictable and things have been going crazy, but I've really been enjoying this. And I, I just want to thank you guys while this game is going on and while I'm actually preventing myself from conceding another goal right here and the game ends. I just want to thank you to all of you out there for supporting the series the way you have been because it makes it so much more fun seeing players like Pogba laying on the floor because Liverpool have just beaten them at their home ground. 5-3, Joe Gomez helping up Pogba right there. And Eni Spardi has to be the player of this match for sure. What a performance he has put in. I cannot complain about anything. Is it Eni Spardi or Firmino? I don't quite know. I gotta check out if Firmino actually got himself an assist as well. Because if he did, he is the player of the match. I'm gonna check it out right now. We go over here, advance. Let's see what he got. Player ratings, Eni Spardi 9.6. Firmino did not get assists, so Bardi got two goals and uh, two assists and one goal, which is very impressive. And then the other assists did come in from Keita and Fabinho on two. Wow, Fabinho got himself two assists. That's very nice to see for a CDM. What a game. Let's go. Rivalry Wars is still intact. Is there, if that's actually English as well. I, I don't know if that's. I think that's German. It's still. Is is still in? Is this immer noch intact? Yeah. That's German. Sorry, boys. Rivalry Wars is still available as an objective to us because we prevented it in this game right here. And with that great performance from Bardi, now Wijnaldum is back into the squad. And even though I've been loving his performances lately, I don't know if I want to keep him in the starting lineup because I need Wijnaldum as that rock in midfield who can move forward and backwards and help the defense keep hold of the ball, which Bardi just cannot do. And ah, it's a tough decision to make. I genuinely don't know. And I, I completely forgot to make any substitutes in that Manchester United game because as you guys know, that objective of not losing against any of our rivals is a big one to me. So I was 100% focused on that one and I did not sub anyone in. But Wijnaldum is going to be back soon. I have to make that decision. I need to take some time to think about that one. But Bardi, very good performance. Very happy about what he did for our team. And now we are up against Tottenham in the FA Cup replay. And as you guys might remember, 
Last time around, we were 3-0 down against Tottenham and then somehow made an epic comeback happen against them. 3-3 in the end. And I uh, now have got myself the chance to play the round five replay against them. We got to get this victory. We need to get that win to get into the further rounds of the FA Cup. I really want to win all the trophies if possible. And the FA Cup is a big one. Now, in terms of the starting lineup against Tottenham, there is no way of using that first team. And we got to also take off Bardi from this team. Wijnaldum is not fit enough. So that means... Curtis Jones is getting his chance now. You guys have been asking for it for quite a time, uh, for quite some time right now. And now he will be playing for our team in that right centre midfield position. Um, Nathaniel Klein should be taken out as well. He is a bit tired right there. And Alexander Arnold can get yet another chance to come back into the team after his short term injury. All right. Let's jump in there. Obviously, the one player that you guys will be looking towards in this match right here is Daniel Sturridge. He will be playing in a starting lineup and maybe he can be the hero once again. The story of Daniel Sturridge this year has been absolutely insane, especially that goal against Chelsea. I was so happy for him and the club, obviously. Sturridge is back three goals in the last three matches maybe we can make it four in four that is going to be one of the things that we want to achieve in this match hopefully he doesn't get injured anytime soon in this career mode he had a short-term injury and uh, apart from that no injuries yet so let's see if he can take us to the victory while he's up against another english striker in harry kane and also an amazing team in spurs who have sold on ericsson and brought in hamsik Kamara, what am I doing? No, I thought that he was my CDM there. That's going to be a goal, isn't it? Oh, yes. Come on, Pope. That is a save that he had to make. Thankfully, he did. The new transferred goalkeeper stepping up right there against Harry Kane. Of course, man. I didn't even talk about him at all so far in this career mode. After bringing him in, I don't think I've talked a sentence about Nick Pope. But obviously, he is the goalkeeper for our reserves team right now. And he did really well in that position. That will be mine. That will definitely be mine. And we will bring it over to Shakiri. Shakiri with lots of space. Come on now. Oh, that's a terrible first touch. But we have Daniel Sturridge in support. Uh, it's a bad first touch from him as well. Giddy, 1-2 with Jordan Henderson. Jordan in... No, actually, hold on. Oh, Sar. I thought I could score an amazing goal. I don't know how I mixed up all those names right there, but it's fine. We get straight back onto the ball. Trent Alexander-Arnold, Curtis Jones. There's Jordan H Henderson. Captain hits the crossbar. Daniel. Ah, oh, if the defender wasn't there, I would have done a bicycle kick. Quite unlucky early on into this game. Jordan, bring it over here to the right. And here goes Daniel and Shakiri. Shakiri cuts back outside. Plays it into Curtis Jones. Oh no, that's actually Ox. Ah, oh, they're falling over each other. Sar with the shot. 59th. I need to do better on my attacks. Lucas bringing it back to the left back. We got to make some changes. 70th minute right now. We need players to step up and do something. Salah. I guess we can put in Salah right now. He, go, he goes to the right hand side. Mane actually will be coming in for Shakiri, And... Uh, you know what? I'm going to do it, boys. Daniel Sturridge sadly didn't get a chance. Brewster has saved us once. Can he do it again? Has a little bit of space. The defender is not really pushing up towards him. Brewster decides to pass it in. Oxley chamberlain Ah, come on, Hendo. Got to play that one a little bit better. Curtis Jones. Brewster. Mo Salah. Come on. Come on. Play it. Brewster. No. Bro, I just wanted to I just wanted to do the safe route. I didn't want to take the shot with Salah there. There were a few people ahead of me and I bottled it. 79th. We should have scored. Oh no, there's too much space. There's way too much space. Way too much space. Are you actually kidding me? Hyung Min Son just blasted into the near post. That's such a joke. That is such a joke. Come on, man. You can't be conceding goals like that. Ah, oh, 
What a perfectly timed shot. What a coincidence that they pull it off in the 81st minute right here. <sighs> we have nine minutes. Let's do this. Give me that ball. Please give me that ball right now. Boys, I'm losing this. I'm losing this. There's no way I'm coming back into this. Wow, I'm actually going to concede another one. And yes, I will. Tottenham have kicked us out of the FA Cup. Or should I say Hyung Min Son has. After all, it comes down to us having to play with the reserves team against Tottenham. And they could play with the first team. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. We are out of the FA Cup right there. One trophy that we wanted is not there to be won anymore. After beating Manchester United away 5 2, 5 3, now against Spurs, we lose. I don't know what to say. I'm really disappointed because I really genuinely wanted to win this cup. Wow. Unbelievable. GG's to Spurs. Very upsetting very very bad performance from our defense and the tight schedule just only gets tighter and tighter it's unbelievable i mean look at the schedule that we had right here we played against tottenham against valencia two games in one week and then again manchester united tottenham and then straight after the game against tottenham we're playing against watford and then two days after that we are up against everton and again a rivalry wars match I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. The teams are just going to be tired no matter what I do. The only good thing to say off of this episode is the fact that we have beaten the second place team in the league. But now Spurs are getting closer. They are in the third position with 52 points. That is only six points. That is only two victories that Spurs need to get while we bottle one of the matches that we have in front of us. And that I really do not like. I don't like the fact that our team has been struggling that way. Now we are up against Watford at home. I'm going to check out where Watford is sitting in the league table. They are currently at the 16th position. So I'm guessing I'm going to sim this one. It would be very nice if Mo Salah could just go ahead and score two or more goals in this one against Watford. They are in the 16th position. They have Bjorki in goal, who is not a bad goalkeeper. Obviously, Pereira, a very good player for Watford. And Mo Salah does score. Yes, come on. That is very important because in simulations, as you guys know, I do not have control. Sadio Mane scores as well. And then they score with Capoue. Dini gets injured. Mo Salah on two goals. Yes. We're actually making steps forward in terms of the objective for the top scorer. 32 goals is what we need to achieve. And Mo Salah right now should be on 23, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, that is very good. Mo Salah on 23 goals in 28 matches. But because of the fact that we had to play our first team against Watford, we will have to play our reserves team against Everton. And that is gonna be very very bad that will be the chance the biggest chance i believe for the rivalry wars objective to fail and for me to have to do the forfeit and that is going to be very interesting we are doing a great job in terms of scoring goals and getting things done but whenever we have to play with our reserves team we struggle big time so i think I will have to go ahead and uh, make some huge signings for the reserves team in the next transfer window because as you guys could tell it just wasn't good enough most of the time so i hope we can get that done i hope we can get that victory against everton i don't know if we will be able to do so and then let's talk about a few players and their growth i want to do a little bit more of a detailed squad report right here at the end of the video ryan brewster or rian brewster whatever uh brewster has grown to a 66 rating plus four right there um he looks very very good already uh, love him a lot of pace on him which is beautiful and hopefully he will get even better in the future plus five is what we 
need to achieve with him, as you guys know. Joe Gomez is looking quite all right. He is currently on 80 rating. Very, very good center back and just resembles Van Dijk more and more from day to day. Camacho got a plus three right there. Solanke plus two playing for Ajax, which is quite impressive. I wish I could take a look into how well he's doing at Ajax right now, but obviously I can't. Alexander Arnold grew to an 80 rating. Saad grew to a 78. And then we have uh, Ejaria growing plus two. Keita plus two, as you guys know. Bardi up to an 80. Curtis Jones is on a plus two. Phillips should be on a plus two as well. Where is he? Where's Phillips? Oh, wow. Boys, I don't think I'll be able to get that objective done. What was the what was the forfeit for that objective? I'm kind of scared right now because I don't think I'll be able to get it done. Youngster growth, give away FIFA points. Oh, God. I will have to give away some FIFA points to you boys if I don't make that objective happen. I think I might have to recall him now. I'm going to recall Phillips right now. Yep, we are going to do it because that will boost up his potential and that will make it easier to grow him even more. So I think that's one thing that we need to focus on as well for the future episodes. Let's see what we can do with Phillips and the boys. But obviously, I won't mind too much giving away FIFA points. But I really want to still try getting these objectives done right here. And uh, apart from that, though, no one really that we have to talk about in terms of growth. Uh, ben Woodburn only going up to 69 right there. Again, a player that I personally uh, really love, but I don't think he's going to be that amazing for us. Hopefully he has a decent potential, though, on this game. Only plus one in the first season as a 19-year-old so far is a bit low let me put it that way i was expecting a little bit more out of him Adekanya right here also on a plus one salah grew to an 89 the team is doing really well uh in the in the premier league but we gotta step it up in the cup competitions and especially when we have to use our reserves team which we will have to do against everton so let me know if you guys have any suggestions for the reserves team in terms of instructions and everything or formations let me know guys because as you could see we are struggling with that team at the moment the mercy side derby will be coming up in the next episode the player of the episode in this one i will have to give it to bardi he did an amazing job in that game that we played against manchester united and it was an incredible performance and a very very nice goal that he scored so he definitely gets that player of the episode have a great day boys see you tomorrow take care peace